Hello, everybody. Um, I'm in Thailand. I made it to Chiang Mai. Everything is, I mean, it's, it's going well. I'm working a little hard. I always work hard out here, despite what it might seem like going to Thailand. Um, uh, got through the quarantine 14, 14 nights, I think, 15 days. Um, there is, there is a slight upside to it in that I got a lot of rest. I'm still pretty jet lagged. You might be able to see my eyes are a little squinty. Um, I'm just a slow recoverer, recoverer from jet lag. So, uh, th there's that. And so, uh, I'm, I'm getting my silver work done, getting my, buying some clothes. I, it looks like I'm going to make it through this trip. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be able to travel around. Uh, people are fairly frightened when I speak about traveling around. That's sort of, uh, you know, they, they are people in Thailand seem to be a fearful kind of people on some levels, which uh, is, is whatever. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I've been able, the people that I'm buying from are very appreciative and uh, they're, they're definitely, um, they're definitely, the shops are struggling. Most of them are closed. The amount of out of business stuff here is so heartbreaking. It's, it's like, it's like the world is upside down and, and we're talking about uh, many, many small businesses that are just screwed. So I, I, you know, I feel so much for those people, you know, and uh, uh, there's one restaurant I go to, it's been there for 40 some years, and they're talking about closing, because the business has slowed down so much. And they're, they're uh, in one of the most prime properties that's uh, anywhere in Chiang Mai. They're, they're near Tape Gate, which is, uh, they're just the second shop over from the gate, which is like the best real estate there is in this uh, small city. So I don't know, that's really all I have to say. Life is good and challenging and, you know, uh, it's it's been beyond an experience to get get around to the other side of the world and you know uh, uh, the COVID outbreak is leveling off here it's still at the peak but it's not going higher for the last several days and the government believes it's leveling off and maybe will trend down um, it's it's uh, Chiang Mai is a wonderful place. I hope it isn't uh, destroyed by this. You know, it it looks destroyed. It looks totally destroyed by this. It looks like it will be a different city in five years, almost completely. So we'll see how this goes. And I'll leave you a little footage of. I'm gonna add in a couple of pictures that I've taken, and oh, I'm in an excellent hotel. Uh, usually uh, about a hundred dollars a night, which is the same as a 500 night room in America and uh, roughly, roughly the same. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm paying about, uh, uh, you know, the equivalent of 17, $18 a night for this room. So, uh, and that's, that's pretty much everything. I'll just uh, roll a couple pictures here and uh, glad to be back with my friends that uh, I care so much about here in Thailand, the people I've done business with for years. Uh, just uh, really, really good local people. And I'm just uh, honored to be in their presence. So let's see how this goes. Uh, and hey, Creston, I hope you're all doing real well. Um, there will be new things in my shop soon. I sent the first packages out uh, a couple days ago, so another five, six days I'll get them in Creststone. Uh, and that's that's about everything I could really say. So I hope I hope you're all doing excellent and uh, definitely feel free to 
subscribe and share to this this YouTube channel because I'm going to try to keep it rolling. And if I can remember to while I'm out shopping, I'll turn you guys on to that experience. It's probably more exciting than than me just sitting around in my room. So, uh, okay, catch you later. So this is some fish shots, goldfish, at the Hotel Denara, which is where I'm staying. They have a great, uh, really large fish in their pond. Just uh, throw a few shots of that in. And uh, here next is, uh, these are stones I'm getting silver work done. These will be my little rings and a couple other stones that are needing special care. My friend Eck, who does my silver work. This is Hualampong Station in Bangkok. And I've had my temperature taken so many times. My little boy that I'm on video camera with and a nice sunset out here in Thailand.